guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today we're doing a really casual you know laid back weekly wish list or washout got one of my favorite sweaters on can, you, can, can we see it can we see it heck yeah this is some of the merch from the Taylor. i bought this during her last 15 days of foundation which really like she's such an inspiration she does full-time job she does youtube it's just so much charity work she just she's constantly giving back she's like my all-time favorite youtuber so i was really happy that i got to support her and project beauty share during this past 15 days of foundation so this is like my favorite sweater to wear when i'm just like feeling relaxed laid back also have a super well for me toned down makeup look today all i'm really wearing is my base and then for my eyeliner i'm actually using one of the new kat von d super brows as a liner this is in the shade scarlet so i have that on my eyes today and on my lips i'm wearing my all-time favorite red lipstick which is the fenty red lipstick in uncensored love this really do so with that out of the way, if you haven't seen one of these videos before or if you're new to the channel, basically what I do is once a week go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Moon's Instagram page and I decide whether I think I'm going to be adding it to my wish list or if I think it's a total washout. So we have a lot to talk about today, hence the casual look. This is probably going to be a lot longer video than usual, so grab a snack, grab a drink, get comfy because we're gonna be here for a little bit today since there's since there are so many normally i look at them on my phone but today i have them all open on my computer i have like 20 tabs open it's a lot of tabs and as normal i'll be throwing the pictures up here so you can look along with me but for the most part if you see me looking this way it's because this is where my computer is <laughs> So it looks like Stila is coming out with three new shades of their Magnificent Metals. They have the shades Stylish, Dollish, and Embellish. Honestly, these don't look different enough from their, from what they already have out for me to run out and get them. I already have, like, not this entire drawer is Magnificent Metals, but like the majority of it is so i do own a decent amount of them and these just don't look that different like i have a like the pinky one i have like a silvery gold one i have a gold one like these just aren't different enough next milani is coming out with some new items i'm really hoping i can find these in store but i know my stores are really slow when it comes to new drugstore items but what i really want to get is their new rush Brush. rose blush I, I squished rose and blush together their new rose blush trio palette these look stunning i just recently tried out milani blushes because i've just recently gotten into blush their blush luminoso like it's a reason there's a reason it's a cult favorite like it looked stunning so i picked up two milani blushes one is the rose formula which is more of like a mauve kind of neutral color and then I picked up Luminoso and I loved both of them. So I really do want to try out more shades. And these little palettes seem perfect. You get like smaller amounts of each blush. They're compact. Like I definitely want to pick up one of those. And then I also want to try out the Rose Face Oil. Because currently I'm using a 100% like Rose Hip Oil to try and help like get rid of some of my acne scarring. Like all the red spots that I have from like previous breakouts and my rosehip oil it's doing a pretty good job but it's really hard to find it it's from the ordinary so it's like always sold out so i am looking for an alternative and if this could be a good alternative it's supposed to be like a primer so i know it's not going to be like a total serum but if this would help out even a little bit i would really be interested so i really want to try out the blush palette and that prep and brighten rose face oil the only thing that really has me interested from the new Chris Cosmetics collection was the highlighter palette because it's called like you're doing great sweetie which I think is adorable like the way that they're incorporating parts of the show into like the shade names and into the palette like they know what they're doing they know what they're doing. Um, but the only thing that really caught me from this collection was the highlighter palette. Um, looking at it now with the up close pictures and the swatches pretty sure it's going to be way too dark for me don't think I'm going to be able to use it. So I'm really just going to pass on the whole collection because really the highlighter palette was the only thing that grabbed me, the only thing that made me interested. And seeing it now, like close-ups and everything, knowing it's probably not going to work for me, I'm just going to be good. Use some self-control, use some logic, and not grab something that I'm pretty sure won't work for me. 
Ooh, something I really, really, really want to try out is the new mini compact blush and glow from Natasha Denona. This looks adorable. Not only is it adorable, but I've tried out so many Natasha Denona products, but I haven't tried out any blushes or highlighters from her. So I really want to try this out. It's like this big. It looks, oh my god, it just looks adorable. And they're holding it next to the regular sized one, and it just, it's like, don't talk to me or my son ever again. Like, I, I really like mini things. I really do. And they're so much easier to use up, too, because you're not buying too much product for yourself. And for the most part, they're, like, cost-effective as well. So I really want to try this out. I was actually in Sephora the other day, and I asked, but it's not in store at all locations yet, is what they told me. So if I can't find it in, like, the next week or so, I think I'm going to go to the mall again this weekend. I'm probably going to order it online. Something I'm really sad that I'm probably not going to be able to get my hands on but wish I could because it looks stunning is the new Becca Cosmetics exclusive Royal Glow Highlighter. It's got a crown on it and the packaging looks stunning. Oh, I really, really want this highlighter but it's exclusive to the UK of course because of the royal wedding. I mean they, they show the pictures of the highlighter on three different skin tones and it looks amazing and I just aw. Oh, it looks like the product looks amazing, the packaging looks amazing, it's Becca so you know the highlighter is going to be blinding. It's coming to Beautylish. If it comes to Beautylish and like I'm able to buy it, then I'll probably jump on it there because I really, really want this. But for right now, it looks like it's an exclusive to the UK. I'm hoping it doesn't stay that way. I really, really, really want this. <laughs> I do. But we'll see. We'll see. Ooh, a new product from e.l.f. that I actually just picked up. It's in my, where is the bag? It's in the bag right here. It's, it's right there. It's the new uh, Rose Gold Sunset Palette. I saw this in store and it looks like fall. It looks like fall and I am, I'm all about fall. I love me some fall. So I picked this up. It's the normal $10 palettes from them and I'm definitely going to do a full video on it. I'm going to do the swatches. I'm going to do a couple of looks. I'm going to let you know what I think, how it compares to the formula of the other palettes because I do have the majority of their 10 pan palettes. Not all of them because there is one that I didn't like the formula of, but I do have the majority of them. So make sure you guys subscribe. Keep an eye out for that video because I'm really excited to do it. It's probably going to be out in like week, week and a half. Cause I really want to do like a couple of looks with it. I don't want it to be a first impression. Something else I am super excited about. The new Fenty Summer Collection. Look at this. Look at this. What's drawing me in is the highlighter like double that has that teal. I want that teal. I don't think I could really use the rest of the shades, but I think if I use it with a light hand, that it would look really good on my skin tone, especially in the summer. I do get a little bit darker in the summer, but that teal is calling my name and I need it. I need it. It does actually look a little bit similar to like the Moonchild palette and I am able to use all those shades on my face. So I'm really hoping that I can get my hands on that. I'm not sure about, what are those liquid lipsticks? Oh, okay, so they're called Kilowatt Foils. You can use them on the eyes, cheeks, and lips and then some toppers. So I'm gonna see maybe about getting some more lip products because I do love this liquid lip. She needs to come out with every shade in this formula because it is stunning, stunning. I've worn this, like every time I've worked at Sephora up until now, I've worn this lip and I've gotten a bajillion compliments on it. I just, please, please Rihanna, can I get every shade under the sun in your formula, please and thank you, moi. Okay, so, so my, my question here, what the heck is this? So they reformulated, I'm pretty sure originally this was limited edition, they reformulated the palette and it looks exactly the same <laughs> with the new packaging, right? New packaging? Yeah, it's the rose gold is back with the new formula and new packaging which includes a mirror. Really? I mean, this is such a blatant just money grab. You're not getting creative. You're not doing anything new. You're literally re-releasing something that you've already done. There's no creativity. There's, I mean, this is, I'm, no, no. Skip. So Dose of Colors is coming out with a bunch of new single shadows. I actually haven't tried any eyeshadows from Dose of Colors. I've only tried some of the liquid lipsticks. I do like the liquid lipsticks, but... None of these singles 
are really calling to me like a lot of the shades just look kind of really muted and really dull which it just seems like a strange release for spring and summer like this looks like a release that would come out in the fall or like right before the winter it just it seems a little bit out of place right now and none of them are really calling to me well, that is my uber eats i will be right back <laughs> bagel sandwiches are life <laughs> all right so anyway we're almost like halfway done ish so where was i dose of colors like i said it seems like an out of place release probably gonna skip on all of them so the new mac collection i'm a little confused by like this compact right here with like the pinks and like a highlighter strip and then a bronzer strip like what is that supposed to be is it like an all-in-one you swirl it and you just put and then you've got like your blush your highlighter and your bronzer do you are you supposed to just do one part at a time and i'm not really feeling the packaging either it just kind of looks a little like again it looks muted it looks strange as a spring summer release to me it does so i'm gonna i'm probably gonna skip on the majority of these not really feeling the the summer collection okay so the neighbors are mowing their lawn i really hope you can't hear that but if you can i'm sorry <laughs> nars is coming out with a full orgasm collection you know what if you find something that sells why not run with it and do a whole collection i've never actually tried the orgasm blush you know what just for like the makeup junkie in me and just to try it out at some point i will try out the original powder blush for me, I'm not a huge fan of cream, blush, cream, highlighter, cream, any of that junk. So I'm not going to probably do that one. And the powder blush, like it's really, really easy to go overboard on a powder blush or on a, like a loose powder blush. So I think the only thing that I'm going to probably try at some point in the future is the original in the compact pressed powder orgasm blush. Just because it's so hyped up. Like if you don't try it out, like are you really really a beauty junkie it's just a horrible thing to say but it's a cult classic it's a cult favorite if anything i'm just really curious at this point <laughs> and last but not least melt cosmetics is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette i think and they released the first shade and it's like this beautiful olive ultra matte shade and they've got my attention they've got me interested i am hooked i want to see the rest of this I really, really do. So I really want to see what the rest of the palette looks like. If it's like focused on greens, you bet your butt I'm going to be getting it. If it's like a mixture of other colors, I really need to see what the other colors are going to be looking like. But I've also never tried anything from Melt yet, and I really want to try out Melt. So this might be a good place for me to start. Okay, and I think we're caught up. So that's everything from this past week, week and a half in the new beauty release world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my bagel sandwich, and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!